All right, what is going on? Welcome to this video and to my channel. We're gonna be reviewing this little mini fridge here. If you are in the market, there's lots of fridges out there. I happened to buy this one at Lowe's and it was, uh, I don't know, just shy of 200 bucks, about 190 bucks or so. And I'll put links in the description below for this and other mini fridges that have gotten great reviews if you wanna check that out. But here is what this one looks like. Um, it's got glass shelves, so it's pretty, you know, pretty durable. It's not cheap plastic, in other words. And look at the or the freezer portion, nice and clean. Uh, there are no little parts or no levers, no things that could get jammed, just a nice clean compartment. We're gonna test this out, boot it up, but first we need to get it leveled out. And so I can show you how I did that with this particular fridge setup. And all the specs, by the way, again, I'm gonna put those down below in the description. Uh, you know how big it is and you know what exactly you can, all the, all the features of it, right? Um, so I'm not gonna go over everything here, but you can see uh, especially if you're transporting this fridge because it's kind of sizable in a car if you had to lay it down Which you probably you should not do keep it upright at all times um, But in our case we had to actually lay it down and uh, we had to let it stabilize for a good 24 hours before we plugged it in So that was definitely important and of course read the instructions in your manual before you st uh, Plug this in and whatnot, but basically to level it out. There's these little uh, little legs on the bottom right it's very very simple to do and you lift up the fridge a little bit and then you can twist them counterclockwise or clockwise and then check your level again to make sure that you are level level is levelness is important so that any of that fluid inside your fridge does not uh, leak out or anything and then we're going to go ahead and um, plug it in and fire it up and this particular one has a dial on the main compartment you can see it up there on the upper right and it does have an off as well which is nice so you don't have to unplug it if you want to turn it off and then a variety of cold settings so i just plugged it in so it's obviously not cold yet but we'll go ahead and put in a couple of samples i've got some uh, water trays or some ice trays here we'll fill that up with water put that in the upper part and we're going to just let it do its thing for several hours in fact i'm going to let it just sit overnight and uh check it in the morning so and then we've got a couple of beverages here we will put those in there now it's not tall enough to put a bottle in unfortunately except for the side little side compartment there but obviously it's a mini fridge right so get a bigger fridge if you need more room <laughs> next morning here it is solid baby solid as for longevity we'll see how it holds up i will put updates to this video if it turns out be to be problematic but if you don't see any updates assume all is good and well overall a great purchase and hopefully this has helped you make a good purchasing decision thanks so much for being with me